Hey, happy Wednesday. So, biopsies all done. Um, it's, they're thinking cancer. I'm like, even if it is, um, there's treatment and God has me covered. Uh, the blood clot has gone down. Woo! I'm so excited. I was more concerned about the blood clot than anything. I can't find my little microphone, so I'm hoping this one's working okay. Uh, let's see, what else? So I did the biopsy, and you know, they don't let you leave the hospital unless you have a ride and someone going to take care of you. So I have people checking on me every hour, which is great. And, you know, I had a, a friend come and pick me up. Oh, my gosh, my ear's numb, too. Anyway, um, they prescribed me some oxycodone, but, uh, you know, I extra strength Tylenol will work for me. I did tell the surgeon, okay, I will pick up the prescription in case I need it. I go back to my blood thinner shots tomorrow, and I could do any activity that I feel comfortable doing. So that's all good. The next step is wait for the results. You know, if it is cancer, then I'll get the port put in, and, you know, God has me covered. I I have so many people coming at me today and I just, you know, I don't need negative. Cancer is scary. I know so many people that pass a cancer, but I know more people that have survived cancer. So, you know, I just know God has me covered. He's taking care of me. You know, he would have called me home a long time ago, right? Especially with that big old blood clot that I had there. So, I'm just going to take it easy the rest of the night. Right now I got my van running because I I was so anxious this morning. I forgot to plug my solar panel into my battery. <laughs> so I come back and everything shut off because it it shuts everything off when it gets down to I think like 10% left. So my Jackery 500 has never been this slow, but that's okay. And then I was thinking, oh my gosh, my fridge, but, you know, I've been through this before. It's a roller coaster with me and the fridge because I just honestly don't, and I gave it a good test run and, um, you know, I was a big coffee drinker with creamer, but if I want coffee, I'll just buy the single creamer sizes. I don't need a fridge to put that in there, so... Yeah, uh, God's good all day, every day. I just want to let people know I did, got the biopsy done. They took four samples. I met the most amazing people, the most amazing people. Uh, one of the nurses, he's from the Philippines. He is the happiest spirited person I have ever met. Oh, I still got marks. They wanted to, you know, in case they had to do certain emergency things, they marked. But, um... Yeah, he was so happy and so positive, and, you know, uh, before they knocked me out, he looked me in my eyes. He goes, and I want you to know I'm praying. Everything's going to be just fine, and I said, I know. I know my Redeemer lives. It is going to be fine, and, um, yeah, I just, I feel at peace. I'm sure I'm going to be in some pain a little bit later, so I got all these wraps on me because I, my veins do not like needles, and um, so when they put me to sleep for a little bit, took my little afternoon nap, they ended up putting uh, the IV and stuff on the top of my foot, so that was all good, got that done, came out just fine, uh, they said I did wonderful, I, you know, they had to show them I could walk just fine, and they actually let me walk out of there. I didn't even have to take a wheelchair out to leave. So uh, that's good. I have a very scratchy throat. I guess that's expected. But, you know, it gets me to thinking being sick in a van. But it's being sick anywhere we go, right? If you're living in a traditional home, it doesn't matter. You know, sickness knocks when sickness wants to knock. And as for me, I serve the Lord and be it on the street under a bridge, in a tent, in my vehicle, in a home, you know, and 
have all these really gracious people that, oh my gosh, you got to come and live with me. And I'm like, I am so not dead. I'm so far from dead dead. And even if this body goes, and I pray not because I truly, there are so many people out there that need to be encouraged and and know that, you know, Jesus loves them. So uh, that's where I'm at right now with all of this. It's, um, it went well. And uh, within the next day or two, I'll know if I need to go in and get a port put in. If and if I need the port put in, that's fine. Get that. And then, you know, treatments will start. And, you know, if I lose my hair, it's just hair. So, you know, I'll put some little glitter stuff on it and, you know, make it make it fun. I'm going to see only the positive. Yeah, I, I have a few days where I find myself, you know, for a moment just feeling a little down. But it's not fear of anything other than if I were to pass, what about my children? And they're not little, but you know, I, as, as a parent and just as a person, I don't want anyone to go through any, any type of um, sadness or especially on my part, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just blessed. And I know I have long life. I know this, I know this, and I know this, you know, so God is good. God is great. And I just want to give everyone an update, you know. There are some things that, you know, I that has got me thinking. I, I do need to make sure, like with my life insurance, that, you know, everything is on it that I needed. And, you know, to get to the right people and, you know, to make sure my affairs. And then I could just talk tuck that away. Doesn't mean that I'm planning death, but... One thing for sure, we're all going to die. And so I'd rather have everything good and ready to go and then just be done with it, you know. Then I could go about and not have to leave any worries and concerns for uh, my children or whomever is going to. I'm assuming my children, I'm not married. But anyway, so life is good. Life is great. Um I just want to touch bases with everyone and remember our Redeemer lives and the enemy wins if we sit in doom and gloom. So no matter what your circumstance, it does not matter what it is. Just remember God Almighty loves you. He sent his only begotten son so that we could live. And if I sit here boo-hoo and I am not doing any kind of justice or respect to our Lord. Oh, I'm very thirsty as well. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm tired. I think I'm going to just lay down and relax, watch a show. And like I said, I just want to touch bases. Keep praying. I appreciate all of you. And um, I guess this is it. This is Gracie for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.